Hello there, my name is Dr. Emma Taylor and I'm here to help you understand what phenylketonuria is and why your sister has it. Now, you should not be worried about your sister because phenylketonuria is a genetic disease. You won't get infected and I promise she's not an alien. Now, phenylketonuria is a very hard word to say, so we're going to break it down. Phenyl, ketal, nuria. Now, if you run it all together, it says phenylketonuria. <laughs> I know, it's very difficult and you don't have to know how to say it. But I want you to understand what it is. Now, phenylketonuria is a genetic disease, which means that it comes in your genes. Now, I'm not quite sure if you know what genes are. They're the ones that are spelled G-E-N-E-S. So, we are going to compare it to regular genes, the ones that you wear. So, if you follow me this way, I'll demonstrate how, you, how your sister has this disease. These are your dad's genes. Light wash, pretty long, maybe a few holes. These are your mom's genes. Light wash too, some bedazzling on the back, you know, very mom genish. And these are your genes. These are what came from after your mom and your dad put those genes together. Light wash, no bedazzling, no holes. Now, your sister, she got a little bit different of a result. Now, I said there were some holes in both of your parents' genes, right? Well, both your parents didn't know about these holes. So what happened was your sister, instead of getting the regular full genes, she got the holes. That means that she had a genetic mutation. So, genetic mutation is what happens when both of your parents their problems with their genes come and they form into another pair of genes. So she got the problem genes, and that resulted in the phenylketonuria. Don't be worried. It's nothing that you should be afraid of. She will be fine. She's just going to be on a special diet, so maybe you will be too. But don't worry too much. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you have a better understanding of phenylketonuria and your sister's life.